Good morning, uh, good morning, Periscope Universe. Um, I'm assuming more people will watch this on a rebroadcast than live, but uh, whoever's watching, feel free to hang around and listen. Um, I just got to get something off my chest. Uh, I don't talk a lot of politics. <clears throat> a lot of my friends are a lot more well-versed in them than I am, but um, something I just got to say that's driving me nuts is... Uh, Trump running for president is killing me. Um, there has never been a more self-righteous, self-involved prick than this guy. And while he may have a lot of money, um, I don't see him as being good for much else. <clears throat> There's a lot of people talking about. I got, I got my like, uh, put my my smart guy glasses. I'll put these on. Um, this thing that happened most recently at one of his his town hall meetings or whatever where the guy went off about the Muslims and Obama being Muslim and all that kind of shit and then he didn't respond to it and everybody's on him about that and he's coming back with stuff like is it my job to defend the president well you know what you fucking asshat it kind of is I mean you're running for the office and for fuck's sake he's the figurehead of our country you know you want respect from other nations and other countries but you don't even have the respect to Respect your own fucking president. You know what I mean? You're not going to stand up for him or uh, or be there and have his back. It, it kills me. And, and it also strikes me as odd that the people that tout the most loudly about being patriotic or loving their country are the first ones to slander him or talk down to him or, or admonish him. And for fuck's sake, you know, he's our president. And I get that you might not agree with everything that he does or all of his his positions on things, but... If you're not going to have his fucking back, how can you expect anybody else to? How can you expect anybody else to respect our nation when you don't respect it yourself? And that just fucking kills me. People need to fucking wake up. Um, you know, I realize we're not a monarchy, but in England, you know, people who fucking talk bad against the Queen are, are ostracized, you know? And here it's almost like a popular game to shit talk the president. I don't know. It just fucking kills me, so... Hopefully Trump uh, falls out of the race soon. The fact that he's leading by like 32% of all the Republicans for the nomination. Um, I don't know if I'm excited by that or if it disturbs me. I feel like it may actually help the Democrats' cause when it comes time to run. But I don't know. It's like the idea that I don't even want him having a chance at getting in the White House. I don't know. Anyway, don't imagine this is going to get very many hits on Periscope as people want to just see tits and ass, but uh, I felt like it was an opportunity for me to put it out there, seeing how as this is essentially the, um, you know, this is sort of like uh, the local access of the internet, local access television of the internet, Periscope, here we are. So that's it. Um, you know, whether you like him or not, support your fucking president. He got voted into office. And um, if you don't like it, next time fucking show up and vote and let your voice be heard. That's how we make a difference in this country. Not by sitting back and bitching about things. You know? I don't know. Uh, that's it. Heard something else cool. I'll, I'll wrap this up with. It said, uh, so I think Thomas Jefferson said it originally. I heard... Joe Biden say it to Stephen Colbert on, on The Late Show. Um, he said, remember that uh, nobody out there is any better than you, but you are no better than anybody else. We are all equal. So uh, take that with you on this Sunday. All right? That's it.